One Montana man was traveling through the Anchorage International Airport when the pillars of the building started shifting and the people around him started evacuating the airport. Bill Swenson of Florence said he held on for dear life. The earthquake rattled buildings in Anchorage with reverberations so strong they could be felt up to 350 miles away. Students dove under desks to take cover as the quake rocked classrooms. And hundreds traveling through the Anchorage International Airport were evacuated and their flights rescheduled. One of those is Montanan Bill Swenson. Fire alarms went off and people were coming around saying evacuate, evacuate. Swenson, who was on his way to visit his daughter in Nome, Alaska, was in the security line when things started to shake. You could see the columns in the building moving, uh, ceiling tiles coming down, water pipes and sewage pipes breaking for, in the bathrooms. It was kind of scary. He said this feeling lasted for 30 to 40 seconds. Now outside the airport, the quake ripped through major roads across the region, including parts of Alaska's scenic Glen Highway. Traffic piled up for miles as cars inched past damaged areas. CBS News correspondent Carter Evans caught up with Governor Bill Walker after he surveyed the damage from above with the Alaska National Guard. Walker told CBS News it brought back memories of the state's devastating 9.2 magnitude earthquake in 1964. The sheer strength of an earthquake that you can that you can crumble a, a perfectly good highway, you can you can buckle a bridge, you can. I mean, it was amazing, the, the power behind uh, what we saw. Governor Walker believes that the strict building codes saved lives, and he added it could take weeks to recover. In Missoula, Kent Lutzen, MTN News. Swenson is safe and currently waiting for his flight to see his daughter in Nome, Alaska. He said this flight was not delayed because of the quake, rather just severe weather in the area.